Hello, my name is Rose, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the books that I want to read in May. May? How is that possible that it's already May? Anyway, at the very least I'm doing well on my reading channel. I challenge. I don't know how you guys are doing, but yeah, I started very, very poorly in January, but thankfully I did read a lot. Somehow, I think that just with the audiobooks, it helps to just fill in those gaps, but my reading goal is higher than it has ever been before and I'm ahead of it, so very, very happy about it. But anyway, so as always, I'm going to be a bit too over-optimistic with how many things I'm going to read next month, but I feel that it's the spirit of book talk in some way. We always want to read way too much and we buy too many books and we just... But it's fine. It's part of the magic. So I'm starting with uh, the book, the books that I received from the book boxes, and this one is actually, I think, an O1, but I still haven't read it, so this one has priority, and look at these edges, they're so pretty, honestly, like, this, these editions, this one is from Illumicrate, it's so beautiful, but yeah, this one is about, um, I'm not sure, but what I know about it is that it's about, um, Scottish inspired folklore and it's um, like rivals to lovers perhaps I'm not sure but it's more about the magic and the world than the romance from what I understand so yeah this one then I did receive the first a fairy loot adult book which was the Atlas 6 which I had never heard of until a few months ago and I hear it everywhere and so many people's most favorite books lists etc so now quite excited. This one is Dark Academia and I think it's six rivals. They have to compete in some sort of magic scenario and it says clearly like six enter and only five can survive and leave. So I don't know. And this edition has this beautiful artwork. So this is very nice. This is a fairly edition but I think that already the Waterstones one is already so pretty and it has like this, let me see if I find at least one, but this beautiful drawings inside but this is not exclusive for the fairy lit edition so if you get out your hands on the water stones i think that it also has it so yeah maybe this one let's see at the same time i do have to say i'm feeling very springy and flowery and i just want to read cutesy things so maybe this is not the theme i feel this is more fall but i still might read it because it's quite cool then also another one from a box which is this is the in march book this one fits more the vibe, I think. Look at the colors. This is the springiest book that I've ever seen. Well, maybe not, but... Oh, this is also so beautiful. And this... Oh my god, I just completely forgot how beautiful this was. Like, look at the art here. How is that allowed? How is a book allowed to be so beautiful? Anyway, so this one, as you can see, basically, the girl who fell beneath the sea. And there's a dragon, so... Honestly, I am very excited. I would say this is my most anticipated this month for sure. So beautiful. Actually, I should be putting them here. Exciting. And um, then, I don't know this book. So this one is my attempt to read in French and this one is obviously not a French book but I just struggled finding things that I wanted to read, so I was like, I might as well just read some translated work, which I already tried with another book and kind of regret it, so... <laughs> it just feels so weird to be in California and for everything to be in French, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do with this one. But I did buy it mostly for the cover, I think, <laughs> but it, because not, not when I went to the library, but for the cover. I saw it normally... I only allow myself to buy books that I have already know what they are about and that I've seen recommended, so, because I already have three books to read, so BookTok is basically my only TBR list. But I thought I had seen it with this one, but turns out no, I just had seen the cover so many times and it was so beautiful that I was like, I have to buy it. But I actually didn't know what it's about and it's about, I think, um, it's basically contemporary YA, which I'm now starting to learn that is not my favorite genre. And I think it's about death and loss and grief and I don't want to, I really don't want to read about sad things, but at the same time, I did buy it and I do want to read in French and look at how big the, I don't know, well the writing is pretty big, there's a lot of dialogue, so I think it should be a fast read except that it's in French so maybe it takes me longer. 
um but yeah this is definitely on the list as well at least the colors fit i hate when they do that you see like in english they look down but in french they look up whatever anyway so the next book is one that is quite daunting but at the same time i'm very excited to read which is this one the final installment in the lunar chronicles series and i enjoyed the lunar chronicles so much it starts with cinder and then scarlet crest it's basically a sci science fiction retelling of fairy tales for cinderella then um, red riding hood then um what is it rapunzel and then this one is of the white white snow snow white <laughs> anyway um yeah so i'm very very excited because i'm really really enjoying it and basically how it works is that you start with cinder so it's cinderella uh, the character in the first book and then in the second book they introduce the second character but you also see of the first character the first book then in the third book you have like three stories etc and in this one is basically the culmination of all of the stories and um i'm very very excited except that <laughs> Like all of the books are made of this very thick nice paper and this one I opened it just like what is this? This is the thinnest little easiest thing and it is a whopping 820 something pages Oh, <laughs> But anyway, I will manage because I really like it and hopefully if I do manage I can then finish it off with the next one which is this series of short stories and I think from what I've seen is that most of them are prequels and then there is an after, like a, uh, an epilogue sort of thing and yeah, these editions are so beautiful as well like, and they also have this like drawing here which is really nice but I don't want to show you because it has the spoilers but yeah, this would be then the next reading and that would mean that I will finish a series which it's always exciting since I feel like I'm always starting them even if I actually don't like starting series I prefer continuing them but it does become harder then um, this one as well like book box um, from Made Me Great this one and i um, very excited to read this one because obviously I highly anticipated because of the author I haven't read that many things I've only read um, this one the the, the idea, invisible life of uh, Adia Ladleru yeah that one and I did really really like it, so I am excited. At the same time, I have heard that this one is more about the setting and the feeling that you get when you're reading the book that more than the plot, which I completely get the vibe of. I feel like that could be said about the other book as well. Even if it did have a heavy plot, the most impactful was just this concept and the premise of it. So I'm excited. The only thing is that it's also more of a gothic type of vibe, which is definitely not my vibe. Um, and as I said, I really want to be flowery and stuff, but I think it's still going to be very interesting. And I mean, just look at this book. It's also absolutely stunning. And um, it's short, I think it's 300 pages and the book looks tiny. So hopefully it should also be easy. Um, the author actually said that she designed it to be read in one sitting, which I don't think I can do that, but it's interesting to know that. And anyway, the last one of my physical TBR, one that I have already started, would, which would be this one, which maybe I end up picking more this type of contemporary romance things since I'm feeling like springy, but I don't know, I also really want to read this one. But yeah, this is Beach Read from the author of People We Meet in Vacation, I think. I'm not sure, it's the one that has two names, depends if it's US or UK and um, yeah, this one is about two um, writers that meet, meet in a beach and they're rivals did I say rivals? no, writers, yeah, but they're rivals and it's interesting, um, from what I'm reading already it has, like, I like that the character is super self-aware I think that the author's way of writing about uh, feelings and also the state and um, just I don't know maturity in some way it's very very good because you can see the character going through something that you know that it's on her own interpretation because of her own limitations or insecurities etc but it's very very relatable and at the same time you can see her grow out of it and transform so it's really really cool in terms of romance though I'm not sure I'm not super giddy about it it's, I feel it's more introspective than romantic so I'm a bit disappointed because I wanted a romance but still very nice and enjoying it and definitely liking the floppy and look I'm annotating <laughs> like I recently started annotating and it's just so exciting to see the things so so satisfying but yeah anyway so I would definitely be finishing this one 
and those are the books that I hopefully manage, will manage to read next month and then I always am also reading on Kindle I'm reading The Zodiac Academy which is like the hype of the whole book talk and I really wanted to read it but they're very expensive where I live and I found that they're um, on Kindle Unlimited so if you're interested they're on Kindle Unlimited in the UK and I signed up for the free trial so I'm basically just trying to read as many as I can but there are so many on Kindle Unlimited that I actually want to read that I might stay on it for longer I don't know I don't love reading on the Kindle though I prefer reading physical books and I do have too many physical books to read so this is kind of like sets me back in the ones that I have already bought but um, I have found that it's nice to read on the Kindle in bed because otherwise there's the light and the pulling the book it's just a bit annoying so I'm doing this one at night in the morning and this one's during the day and then as always whenever I'm doing chores or I have to bike somewhere and to entertain myself I always have an audiobook on so for those um, I really think that I would like to read Anne of the Green Gables again the spring vibe like it would be my ultimate spring book to read I have never read it before and I really want to watch the Netflix show as well but I wanted to read the book first and actually it's because I started with the Netflix show and I like the story so much with the characters that I was like I'm gonna stop watching right now and I'm gonna read the book first um yes and then otherwise I don't know I pick up things especially with audible if you have the like the subscription and you can access to all of the catalog I sometimes listen to things that I wouldn't buy but it's just like might as well give it a go and um yeah so a few romance things or something like that I will try I also do have Bridgerton and Offer of a Gentleman and I did watch obviously season two and I loved it so much and um this is would be book three so I've read book one and book two from book, season one and season two but now I think I'm just gonna maybe try to read all of them before season four comes because then you can see all of the easter eggs and all of the and you don't get spoiled like I feel how many things have I gotten spoiled <laughs> from the show because I hadn't read the books for a while anyway so that would be one that I would enjoy reading as well and other things I don't know but yes, basically that is my TBR. As always, overly ambitious, you're welcome. Uh, wish me luck. I really hope that I managed to get through all of these. And if not, I will just read them next month. And also probably I will end up reading other books <laughs> that are not here, but it's fine. This is a good guide and will, this will be my priority. But anyway, I hope you have a good spring and that you're enjoying yourself and that you're enjoying your reading. And I'll let you know how I do by the end of the month. Bye bye.